this morning with it brings the sun for sorrow will not show his head go hence to have more talk of this sad things some shall be pardoned some punished for never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo. <laughs> Reading such sophisticated texts as Shakespeare's dramas requires a certain set of skills. But we all had to start with something. So today we are going to learn how to teach little kids reading in English. Let's start with the essentials. When you get to teach toddlers how to read, make sure they have no wrong ideas in their minds. Especially when you work with the Russians. Some letters are easy to confuse with the ones from their first language. So it is important to teach them how letters sound. This method is called phonics. Children are taught to read letters, graphemes or groups of letters by saying the sounds they represent, phonemes. So they are taught that the letter I sounds like E when we say it. For example, the word interesting or the word children. Oh, speaking of that, children can then start to read words by blending the sounds together to make a word. For example, do you see this word? If we read graphemes, it sounds like this, G-A-R-D-E-N. Weird. But if we read phonemes, it sounds like g a d n. Sounds better? That's it. Garden. Sounds represented by two letters are called digraphs. A uh, from the word garden. And the ones represented by three trigraphs. Let's say delightful. The combination of I G H letters makes a sound. Uh, or fairy. A I R sounds like uh, air. Such method makes kids' perception of written words easier and more comfortable. It helps them to pronounce the words correctly. Of course, there are numerous worksheets and handouts that can be found online. But don't worry, we've done it for you. So in the link in the description, there is an ultimate list of various awesome files for you to use during your lessons. Or you can play a game with your students, draw or show an image on the marker board Beside the image, write all but one of the sounds. For example, there is a picture of a dog on the board and you write O, G, the sounds beside it. And the students have to provide you with the missing sound, not the letter. This can be made into a group contest or a simple whole class exercise where you would give the class time to think of the answer and get everyone to say the answer at the same time. I use my hand like this so they understand they need to uh, speak up. If your students learn all the 44 sounds of English, they will be able to read almost any unknown word. Another practical way to memorize the pronunciation of new words and actually learn them is a rhyme game. Boys are noisy, girls are too, you like me and I like you. Yay! Prepare the sets of rhyming words. Number one, say, may, lay, stay, way, pay, play. Two, mate, fate, rate, late, gate. Three, sun, fun, run, gun, cut, but not. These are examples. Come up with more. Then make cards with pictures and mix them so that the students can pick the ones that sound similar. It works as well with uh, die and trigraphs and basically with any rhyming words. As long as we're done with correct pronunciation, let's find out more about reading itself. Of course. Toddlers should read out loud to be able to hear their own mistakes and feel the progress. Moreover, it's just easier for them. During your lessons, you definitely should devote some time for reading or even use separate lessons if you have the opportunity to read and discuss some books. It goes without saying that some fairy tales are the best reading material for young learners. But you can make your students happy and challenge them at the same time with the Harry Potter books, which are actually written with a rather simple language. Chapter one, the boy who lived. But the way to win their love and immerse them in English is Fantastic Mr. Fox by Roald Dahl. The story is fun and lovely, so any kid will love it. Not only kids, you would love it as well. Welcome to the fantastic world of Mr. Fox. Finally, there is one more powerful reading instrument that definitely should be used in any English classroom. It is Immersive Reader by Microsoft. This is how it works. You upload the text, the program enlarges the text, line spacing and distance between words and letters. Words are divided into syllables and the text is read out loud by the program. 
an open letter may not be the best way to air your grievances, as ex Yelp employee Talia Jane demonstrated. The word being read at the moment is highlighted. Different parts of the speech are highlighted differently. The lines are highlighted as well. It can be used on personal computers, tablets, or shown by a projector in the classroom. It can be used online or with the help of Word or OneNote apps. Originally created for kids with dyslexia, it provides amazing boost to reading skills for everyone and can be used even with grown-ups who learn the language. So, this is it for today. Keep reading and teaching. Hard work pays off. And if you want to join our team of teachers and teach from any part of the world, feel free to click the link in the description and uh, we'll be waiting for you. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen.